Good evening. If you have been on the internet in the past couple months, you might have seen this video. Now, like a lot of people, I was skeptical. Having owned a couple of cars with that type of display, I know the only way to really fix it is by sending it off to either have the LCD replaced or the wiring repaired. Now, while I say that, the repair, repair in that video did seem to work and I don't really know how you could fake that. So I've gone ahead and bought a piezo igniter and today I'm gonna try and fix the dodgy gauge cluster pixels on my old BMW. <laughs> Now here is the Paizo Igniter kit. This was $13 at Bunnings. You can get them cheaper online, but once I factored in shipping time and shipping cost, it was just easier to go and get it down the road. I've already had it out of the box for about an hour to electrocute people, and it does work really well. Now, I don't have that radio screen like the one that was in the video because I've replaced it with a CarPlay unit, but I do have the regular gauge cluster pixels, and they are really sketchy on that car. I actually can't read anything it says. But before I use it on my actual cluster that I'm using in the car, I am gonna test it on the other one I have laying around, which has broken gauge needles, but the screen still works. I'm gonna see if this does anything. Now step one is getting the plastic cover off the front. It's really easy. On the back, you have these plastic star-shaped tabs. Don't touch them, all right? Don't touch the sketchy tabs. They break super easily and you don't actually need to use them to get the front off. A lot of people make that mistake. All you need to do is release one, two, three, four tabs. Usually easiest to start on the bottom. There you go. One, two, three, four. Done. Next, we've got to get power to it. Now, your one will be nice and working. Mine's broken. That doesn't have a return spring. This thing's missing, so I'm just gonna dump it on his face. I don't care. Let me show you which pins you gotta to connect to. Then you're gonna need a power source. This is just a 12 volt power brick from a 3D printer. Don't know why it's still glowing because it's been unplugged for like two minutes. If it's just a basic round pin DC one, use a multimeter to check which layer is negative and which is positive. You don't want to get this wrong. If you do have a 3D printer, this might be the thing to use, but just check because some printers run at 24 volts. Only thing left to do is plug it in. Hmm. Once all the wires are connected up, I'm gonna turn off these overhead lights so you can see a little better. And we'll start up now. I have some burned out bulbs on this one. So I'm using my phone in the bulb holder. You're gonna hold the right button here you'll have your test screen come up. You press the right button once, you go to test two, and then the left button. And you can see we do have some sketchy pixels over on this left side. There's some flickering ones here and over here, and some altogether dead ones here, but as it, far as these screens go, it's pretty good. Now the question is, will this work? Let's find out. No way, no way. Still working, let's keep trying. Ah, there you go. That's messy. I'll just come back after about two hours, giving this cluster a little time to kind of rejuvenate. You can see we are worse off than when it started with. So I'm gonna try one more time. Um, otherwise, I think we can call this myth busted. Run. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Now sometimes, like you just saw, We'll be using this, and we'll send a signal to some random LED on the board. You see that? Not great. I think I have everything I need. So should you use a piezo igniter to fix your dodgy BMW gauge cluster pixels, 
Probably not. Now, if you've done this yourself and you had a positive experience, please put in the comments. I really want to hear about it. There are two factors which might have influenced mine not working. Number one being the gauge cluster was pretty much fine already. And number two, this seems like a reasonably high power piezo igniter. It's for a barbecue grill and not um, the little handheld lighters that some of them are for. So maybe if it was lower voltage or lower whatever it is, it would work better. But I am really glad I tried this on my spare cluster first instead of just going ahead and do it on my actual car because would I do this to my car? No way. I had a feeling it was too good to be true and it looks like it might be. I'm gonna keep this short and end it there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you soon.